this is, uh, we started at, the, I think it's our third meeting in which we've decided we'd kind of like at 2.30 we'd have wind ordinance discussion. Um, to, to bring some of you up to speed, it looks like we have three or four different things. We being the commissioners can do, one would be absolutely nothing. Uh, we can change what we've been given, send it back to the plan commission. We can just accept it. It defies me, the, the fourth one defies me. So, uh, um, so what we've been discussing over the last couple of meetings is, is if there are any changes that we that we want to make to the ordinance and send it back to the planning commission. So, uh, gentlemen, how you how you want to proceed with the discussion today? Is your ultimate goal to vote on this today? Uh, I kind of like to. If we can. I, I will say that at the last meeting, I brought up several, several things that I want you to consider. My several things are down to two things. Okay. Or two. Um, first on setbacks, and these are all to, to the property line, not the buildings. These setbacks I'm about to give you are to the property line. Uh, that would be for participants, four times the tower height, or not less than 1,300 feet. For non-participants, uh, 6.5 times the tower height, not less than 2,640 feet, and no waiver allowed for the participants. Again, for the participants, uh, uh, I think it was George that mentioned, we, we, we've, said, we've said here and, and, and said we were concerned about the safety of the, of the citizens, and so we have to be concerned about the, the safety of the participants as well as the non-participants. So the setback is the one thing. The other thing on the decommissioning, um, I just would ask that, that we, add, we, we add the cost to remove should include the cost to repair the roads or the bridges. Why do I? Why have I left off on some of those? Some other items? Because I think those are things that could be discussed later. I don't know that that the ordinance they have to be specifically done in the ordinance. So, so is the twenty six forty only for health reasons, safety, maybe instead of health? I should say. Safety. I think it's it's health, safety, quality of life issues. And that was for non-participants. Non-participants. Participants is 1,300 minimum. minimum. I think that was one of the things we talked about the last time when we came up with uh, the times factor. We said, well, but there should be, well, there should be a minimum attached to those. That's why. And that's from boundary, not residence. That is from the property lines. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I guess as far as I'm concerned, the two comments I've got on that, um, let's let's go with the setbacks first. Um, if, if we're going to deal with participants, I, I mean, we're, we're not, I don't think we should really deal with participants and non-participants. If we're gonna change it, let's just go with, change it to the 6.5 times the height just for everybody. Just have one setback. That's, I guess if, if it's proper for non-participants, it's proper for participants too. I think that's a good point, especially for living in health and safety. That's right. Mm -hmm. I have I don't have uh, a problem with it. Which which would be how much? You say at, six times. So what are we looking at? Footing. <coughs> I know it depends on four. Yeah, a 400-foot tower, three, I think they're like 393s or 426s. Yeah. Oh, man, the application. You're, you're, you're right at 430 feet, I think, for each one of them. So, so um, six times that? Six times that. 2,400. Well, you're actually right at, at 2,640 is where you're going to be. You're going to be right at half a mile. 
Now I'm going to play the devil part of me because I got a lot of that in me. But are we truly honestly doing this? Because a half mile seems a long way to me. Maybe not. But the devil's advocate tells me, are we doing this for true safety and health? Are we doing this to try to eliminate the possibility in the future of any wind-generated turbine? Now, I'm just... Nope, I'm and I'll make an glad. argument. I, I, That's I, fine. Equal, you can shoot me, do whatever you want. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I just want to be able, if someone throws that question at me, I can honestly and realistically say, no, we did it for health and safety, not to eliminate any wind farm. So. I don't know in good conscience as I could agree. I, I think probably, I'm talking about Don Amber now, okay? Yes, that's why I, I, I'm, 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 kind of, I'm kind of thinking that Two, two schools of thoughts. Right now, based on the information that we have, do I believe everything that the health issue, all the health issues that we've been sent by all these fine people? No, I don't believe it all. But do I believe that a potential exists? Yeah, I believe a potential does exist to be a health problem. The ice throw is a little different. That's kind of, that's happened. So that's, that's there. Um, but, but most of all, am I doing this somewhat to eliminate wind power in Whitley County? Yes, sir, I, I am because, I'm, because I don't want Whitley County to be a guinea pig because I don't think there are enough research studies done yet and I don't want to be a part of research study. And if, if five or ten years down the road, I learn that there are no health problems, that, that they're quiet, they're, they're, they're not, the, 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 not going to mess with the quality of life in Whitley County, I think I could change my mind. And I think I could amend the ordinance. Uh, if that was the case. But I really believe, and I'm not going to lie to you, I think I probably am eliminated. I'd be just very disappointed if you did lie to me. I, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, I, I'm, no, I, That's I think, why I, asked I, think I, I think I am, I, I think I am definitely trying to eliminate them because I'm just, I'm not convinced that Whitley County is the place for them. And, 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 and I do believe that if a company wants to come to Whitley County in 2012 and the tax credits are still there in 2017, they'll, they'll still want to come. So, yes, sir. I, I, that's the way I feel about it. Thank you for being honest. I didn't need to put you on the spot. I no, just, no, I, 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 think, just, I think, George, what do you have to say? I was on the plan commission. Uh, with the plan commission, I was part of the approval of the 1500 and the, and the 1000, um, and I felt the 1500 was uh, as a safety, a minimum safety issue. I truly felt that that was a minimum safety issue. At, at this point, um, if, if 1500 um, is a minimum, um, I, I truly don't feel comfortable even with the 1500, and I think the 2640. Um, and it is proper because it will shut it down. I, I'll be completely honest about it. We'll shut it down. I, I mean, the 1500 is going to shut it down, but at 2640, until we find we're comfortable, you know, like I said in the meeting before, one of the first meetings I had with, with John Doster uh, with Wind Capital was um, one of my questions to him was, what about health issues? And when somebody tells me that there haven't been enough long-term studies, I guess I have to really, really think about that. Thank you. What's item two? 
decommissioning. Um, the way it reads right now, that they they would have to put money up front to, to take the towers down. But when they come in, my, my, my feelings are when they come in to take the towers down, they're going to damage roads and bridges again. And so the cost to repair the roads and the bridges should be included in the decommissioning cost that we get up front. And that money is to be put in escrow prior to when they apply, or, right? If I'm going yeah, to help me on that one, because I, I don't think it's prior to. I think before construction, that that money has to be. In yeah, that's escrow. what that's what. I'm right. Yeah. Yes. Then I yes. The, right. Not before they apply. If they're going to put up thirty towers. Mm -hmm. Turbines. Mm -hmm. They have to have enough money somewhere in a bank here. It's our money to take every thirty down and to replace any damage to roads or bridges. Dad, no. That's my proposal, sir. My only problem with that is how do we determine, are they going to tear down, tear up every bridge that there is? How do we determine that cost? Yep. I mean, we've got to be able to determine that yep. cost. Yep. Especially if we're going to escrow that money, I don't know how we can quantify that. How, how do you I, that if we, I don't either. I was hoping you wouldn't ask that question. <laughs> if, we would, if we would put it in, we know what it's got, and I know products go up and they could come down. You don't know. Unlikely, <clears throat> but if we would say there has to be as much as what you paid the first time to do. Why not put in there? You have to have as much as to what equals if they pay four thousand dollars. That's they can. They're going to know how much it costs them to do the roads the first time. It has to be as equal to that much. Because according to the transportation plan, they have they'll have a route to go. And there will be yeah. X amount of bridges to go over X amount of yeah. roads. And would we not yeah. expect them to use the same routes? It would be reasonable to use the same routes. But is this something that can come up later? David is here. Is this in the transportation study? That is in the transportation plan, and that will be uh, approved by the commissioners at the same time that the decommissioning plan is, so they can work hand in hand. You'll, you'll have that estimate and you can just take that one figure from the transportation plan and use it for your de decommissioning. But we have decommissioning in the ordinance. Yes sir. So if we pass this then we could amend anything this Yes, any any time. Any yes. What, right. what, which was my point about Man, I've been wrong a lot of times in my life, and I may be wrong here as well, but it's a wrong that can be righted in five or ten years down the road if, if, you know, if we see that some of these problems don't really exist. Until then, I'm just not. Until then, I'm just not. Oh, my God, I'm turning. <laughs> one leaves, one comes. Yeah. <laughs> Diamond is. <laughs> I am what they work and sell them for what they think they're <laughs> Hi, Mr. Smith. Hi, gentlemen. You are on behalf of the wind people. <laughs> no, sir, I am not. <laughs> okay. All right, enough of that. Um, I don't, George, what do you want? How do you want to proceed? We're not well, well, first of all, those are just a couple of my things. Do, 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 mm. do you? Guys, have changes or? <clears throat> well, I knew the big one, and you discussed that. And that was the setback. I was pretty well sure I could go along with your decommissioning because I think we have to protect the county on that basis. I think we have to look at this: what is best 
for everyone concerned. And I'll be honest with the group, most of my comments have come from south and west of Columbia City proper. But I have thought about it. It's a tough decision. You look at what's in store for everyone concerned. Why I don't want to throw everything that Mr. Sewell and his department or the Planning Commission has been, spent many, many months going over. I'm sure they know more and probably have forgotten more about this than what I currently know. I do agree with your, your recommendations on the basis that we can uh, amend this anytime we wish. Yes. I think there are a lot of questions. Research is one. And if Stanley Crumb sends me any more letters like he did the last time, I'm sure. So. <laughs> did you honestly think that I would understand that? Or you <laughs> he had more geometry, <laughs> calculus. I'm going to say I sent it as a compliment. Yes. Thank you for and I'm going to tell you, I didn't open the attachment, Stanley. <laughs> I thought, why would I do that? <laughs> but based on all those facts and research, not knowing what the federal government is going to do, and to be honest with you, by the time they do their DNR studies, environmental studies, everything else, we're still looking down the road two or three years, and how do we know what's going to happen in two or three years? Uh, it's a tough call, but I'd be open to you two's discussion. I don't want to do all the talking, so I said enough. I don't have anything else to discuss. The only other thing I've got is, is what do we do about the setbacks for non-commercial and private? Do we make that a multiplier also? Because we've got it as specific distances and we probably should go to, to do, do they have a restrictive height right now though yes they do 75 maybe non-commercial is different than private non-commercial is up to 200 right. and that is a multiplier the ordinance says three times the height okay okay would you just run me through non-commercial again then please institutional Ah. School. Schools. Well, yes. School. Yes. And it's limited to maximum of two. Two turbines. And it's a limitation on the amount of uh, kil uh, megawatts that can be produced. Okay. I, I'm thinking we need to deal with that Should we deal with that, Dave, do you think, or is that something uh, for late? You got all the, you know, the last time you come up with all the, I'll call them subcommittees that still have to go over this stuff. Yes. Yeah. And, that, and, and a non-commercial will still have to be reviewed. Okay. It will still have to go through review. Nothing is automatic at all. Nothing is, is an automatic. That one is a, a special exception through the Board of Zoning Appeals. So that one... So that one doesn't come with those first. It will not. That will have to go notification, public hearing, notification to property owners through the Board of Zoning Appeals. Well, that's... I just didn't want us to step on the toes of someone else who should be doing it. I don't believe that th there has been any indication that an individual turbine of this magnitude of this size, the limited limitations that it has, I, I'm not aware of any any issues, any concerns, any problems. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but we have not been, um, uh, no one has brought that to our attention, and we know there are existing schools yes. that do have a, a turbine to try to help with their energy costs. But, but on the other hand, Eastern Howard was turned down. Did not make it through the through the process, mm -hmm. so 